Everybody, this is just a quick video about these panels that I've bought. Um, I thought these were the T6 um, 3s, the ones that run Android. However, these are not. These are the T3Es, which run on a um, ESP32. So this is just a quick bit of code that I've written on this. I'll show you upstairs how I'm formatting them to use Open H ASP, so like that. Anyway, so of course you've got the lights, just doing the lights over there, just doing the LED strip, blah, blah, blah. It uses um, MQTT. Currently we don't have it actually sending any data back to the device. All the data, like you've got all the options of buttons here, and then it just controls these blinds, like you can set the position. So if I set the position, actually no, I won't do that, because they get stuck on the side of the plants and stuff. But yeah, I just quickly thought I'd show you this, but upstairs I'll just show you how I'm formatting them. Just, this is mainly for my documentation, but if you're interested, you're interested. Um, Behind it on the wall, it's got a little transformer in what used to be what is a Patras in the UK. It's just getting 240 volt transformer and all that sort of stuff. Okay, so this just quickly, this is the software it's running. It's running open haps. H O, whatever you can read it. Um, this is on GitHub. GitHub, I've just showed you on my phone. It's just a couple of us. Uh, this is the one on the con wall, which is the one you just saw. So you just go to the screenshot. You can view a nice little screenshot of what you can see, all that sort of stuff. You've got the settings. Uh, configuration, MQTT, okay, you've just got MQTT settings. Um, where am I going? So here you go, you can see it's connected to the MQTT and you can see that it's sending data about of time and stuff like that. Right, okay, so here you go, I've got it set up. As you can see, I've taken the back off. Pretty simple, you just take this, you take this off first, and plug it, and take this plate off, which is just on there. Then you pull the board out, you plug it into the USB, as you can see, micro B, plug it into my computer. On my computer, I'm an installed up dot open dot h a s p dot com and i am going to install none of these hold on a moment um i'm on the wrong installer give me a moment okay they go i'm back so i'm on nightly i'll put this link in below but it's nightly n i g h t l y dot open dot H-A-S-P dot com. Now, when I've plugged it in, you'll see down here there's one for the GST3. You can just about see that. GST3 version 2.3. So, what I'm going to do down here is click install. But before I do that, I need my jumper wire between pins ground. And whatever the pin is next to ground. Come on, focus camera. There you go. So you've got ground. And this pin here. It says J1 there. I'm not sure what it says up there. But I'll do that now. There you go. And now on here, on the web browser, I'm clicking install. I'm picking the serial port, and this will connect. Okay, that doesn't work. Maybe sometimes you have to reboot the device while holding the pins. Let's go back. Give it a minute, let's try it again. So now it's working. So reboot the device once you're connecting the pins. It's wrapping up. Click next. Done. Now you can disconnect your pins. And you can unplug it and plug it back in and you will see a different screen. You've seen the open house. So here you go, you can just tap to connect and I'm just going to enter my passwords off the camera.
it's now rebooting and it now has an IP address and this is a plate working. Perfect, that's how that works. That's a simple tutorial on how to get these to work. Got these from AliExpress. I think it was AliExpress. They're great. They're not quite as good as something like the Fire tablets that can run a web browser. It's got a full setup, but we'll get there. Can I get that in focus? There you go. This full setup. But overall, I'm pretty pleased with these. The lining doesn't look quite as bad in person. It looks really bad on the camera. I can see that. Looks okay in person. 